Hello there, morons. It's Victor. Give me a break, man. Give me a flake, man. The king of the morons. Today with another re video by request. This one goes out to John. Not your real name. John is also a Patreon uh, supporter and uh, student, actually. And he's visiting his Japanese uh, friends this weekend. And he'd like to know uh, what are some appropriate expressions. Now, what I've done here is, uh, like many of the questions that uh, are asked, I am asked, I just check Maggie Sensei because we have so many lessons up there already. We have a two-part uh, lesson. Hold on, let me show it to you here. This is, here we go. This is Maggie Sensei visiting someone's house in Japan part two. There's also a part one. And on this one, you can, you, you can read about the typical questions you will be asked. But today, this, this is for someone who's visiting the house. So uh, these are things that he will say to um, his guests. And these are examples. And by chance, this uh, person's name is also John. Anyway, we're going to read along with you. And, uh, by, and by the way, I'm having a little trouble with the, the video editor here. So if I'm in the corner here, it's because I, it's, something's wrong <laughs> with this video editor, the screen capture program. So anyway, uh, but it doesn't matter. You don't need to see me really, my big face. Uh, we, need to, we, need to, we need to see the screen. That's the point. So let's get to it. So when you go to someone's house, you, of course, you're going to say, Hajime mashite. And that's what it says here. I'll highlight both so you can see. Uh, say your name very simply. Bikta desu hajime mashite. Hajime mashite. Nice to meet you. That's all it means. And then, if possible, you want to try to establish your connection uh, to someone that they might know. For example, in this case, Maggie Sensei no Seito no John desu. So pick a relationship. And then at the end, you put you enter your name. So for example, Victor Sensei no Seito no John desu. Victor Student John. In this case, Maggie Sensei no Seito no John desu. Of course, I would never call myself Sensei. Uh, I'm just giving you, I'm just reading the example. Um, anyway, if you work for a company, I suppose you could say Toyota no John desu. Or Toyota Sangyo, if you have a, a full company name. Uh, Toyota Sangyo no John desu. Hajime mashite. And as we can see, it says, I'm John. Uh, and, and of course, links for this are in the description, so you can click and read along if that's easier for you. I'm John. I'm uh, Maggie Sensei student. Nice to meet you. So, Hajime mashite is nice to meet you. Hajimeru actually means to begin. So, Hajime mashite is a takeoff of to begin. This is the first time we are meeting, so we are beginning. Hajime mashite, Maggie san ni. Itsumo osewa ni natte imasu. I, I kind of stutter there. <laughs> Mag, this is very important. Ose, let me let me highlight the important part. Osewa ni natte imasu. Osewa ni natte imasu. Osewa ni natte imasu. If you prefer this, osewa ni natte imasu. This is an expression that you will hear a lot in Japanese business uh, situations. People actually will answer the phone and say, osewa ni natte imasu. Osewa ni natte imasu. Osewa ni natte imasu. Uh, if you if I if you call a company that you you have some what? Huh? Oh okay. And a variation on the telephone would be osewa osewa ni natte orimasu. Orimasu is a little bit more. Is that that's humble, right? Yeah. That's humble uh, Japanese. Osewa ni natte orimasu. And the way I'm saying it that qu quickly because that's the way they say it. They'll say osewa ni natte orimasu. Osewa ni natte orimasu, or, or as you can see from the script here, osewa ni natte mas. And this is basically saying, um, I'm always being taken care of by Maggie Sensei. So Maggie Sensei, Maggie San, Maggie Sensei, Maggie San ni, uh, indicating where some something is coming from. So from Maggie Sensei, Maggie Sensei, from always osewa ni natte mas. Maggie Sensei is always taking care of me. And my name is John. So, John to moshimas. Replace your name there with to moshimas. To indicates something that is about to be quoted or said. And moshimans, moshimas, moshima. Moshimas means to call something. So, literally, you're saying, John, I am called. John to moshimas. Bikta to moshimas. And you only use this about yourself when you introduce yourself. So nice to meet you. I'm John. Maggie's always been, uh, has always been taking care, care, ta been taking care of me. 
has always been taking care of me. So Maggie's always taking care of me. Okay. So here, here's the important point. O sewa ni naru. And there's actually a lesson that you can click off and go to see, see that. But today we're just going to talk about expressions that you can use when you visit someone's house. And I'm, I'm going to try to keep this to about 10 minutes. Of course, there are, there, this lesson is very, very long. So if you want to read the whole thing, please do. But today we're just going to give you a little introduction to say things you can say when you visit someone's house. Konnichiwa, kyo wa omaneki arigato gozaimasu. And I think John knows this expression because I was teaching him uh, just Monday. And he said something about omaneki. What does that mean? And basically you're saying, thank you for inviting me. Uh, and you might know maneki neko, right? Omaneki neko, which is the cat, the little welcoming cat. You see the little cat? Do we have one of those? We don't have one. We have a Groot. We have a maneki Groot, but uh, not a maneki neko. But you know what I'm talking about, those little cats that welcome um, people. Uh, there's one, I think one of my last Instagram pictures is a maneki neko. Anyway, maneku means to, to invite so, konnichiwa, kyo wa omaneki arigato gozaimasu. Let's do it again. Konnichiwa, kyo wa omaneki arigato gozaimasu. Kyo wa omaneki arigato gozaimasu. So, thank you for inviting me. And that's the, uh, this is a cultural note about um, shaking hands. You don't need to shake hands. Now, when you enter the house, a very useful expression is ojamashimasu. 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 When I'm looking at this, uh, this writing here, the, the actual romaji is throwing me off because it looks weird. Ojamashimasu. Now, ojama, jama means to be in the way, just jama. And if you want to say someone's in the way, you say jama desu. Or if, am I in the way? Jama desu ka? But when you enter someone's house, you're saying, excuse me for suddenly be, being in the way. I'm, I will now be in the way. Ojamashimasu. 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 I am now entering your house and I'm literally going to be bothering you or in the way okay and there's a jama lesson too maggie sensei is amazing see we've got a jama jama lesson and then of course we say shitsure shimasu shimasu and there's the english as well and i am now going to be polite when you say this you're literally saying i will now do something impolite and it's a humble way to saying um like i'm sorry to bother you i'm sorry to bother you i'm sorry to trouble you shitsure shimasu uh, um, this expression is very, very common also. just It's, it's a little bit like, excuse me, you use it quite a bit. But when you enter someone's house, you can say, and kind of, you can mumble these, mix them up as you kind of enter the house and stumble around, taking your shoes off, etc. Remember, you got to take your shoes off before you go into a Japanese house. What's the difference there? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I just realized. Uh, this is shitsure itashimasu, which is more polite. This is enough, shitsure shimasu. This is, this is enough, but if you want to be more polite, you say itashimasu. Itashimasu is the humble form of suru. So I'm about to do something rude. Shitsure itashimasu. Shitsure itashimasu. Shitsure itashimasu. Shitsure itashimasu. And then shitsure shimasu. It is very important that you pronounce these things as many times as possible. So if you have to stop this video and go back, do it again. So one more time, the polite form is shitsure itashimasu. And the uh, regular polite form is shitsure shimasu. Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's, let's continue. Okay, so there you're, 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 um, you're literally saying, it says literal translation is please allow me to come in. Well, you're actually, it's like literally, shitsure means rude. So you're, you're literally, literally, yeah, here we go, to be rude. The literal meaning, oh, I'm sorry. The literal meaning of shitsure usuru is, oh, no, this is right. Yeah, to be rude, to be impolite. That's that's literally what it means. I'm about to be rude. Okay. Of course, they will say, dozo o hairi kudasai. And if it's, if you're stepping up, like a lot of um, genkans, genkan is the, uh, genkan, by the way, genkan is the foyer of a house. And many foyers are slightly elevated. And they might say, o agari kudasai, or o agari, which means step up. But just this is fine. Dozo o hairi kudasai. Hairu, hairi, hairu is enter. O is polite. So dozo, please. O hairi, enter, please. Kudasai. So um, you're actually saying please twice. Please come in. O hairi kudasai. Please, well, literally, please come in. Go ahead. Yeah, dozo, I guess. 
It, it, can, it could be go ahead or please. And I guess in this case it would be go ahead. Go ahead, please come in. Dozo, uh, dozo, dozo. See, here it's translated as please, but it could be uh, here you go. Here you are. Okay. Um, here we go. Uh, Japanese people, I was just criticized on my Give Me a Flake Man channel for having a dirty house, but by one of my rude uh, commenters. But anyway, Japanese houses, uh, even if they are clean, and they are, they are actually, I think, overly clean sometimes, as I've complained before. Uh, however, they will be humble and say, hey, I'm sorry my house is so dirty. And uh, this is how you would say that. Kitanai, which is dirty. Kitanai is dirty. Kitanai ie, house, desu ga, but, dozo. So, please. So, although the, my house is dirty, please come in. It is a dirty house, but please come in. Kitanai ie desu ga, dozo. Ga is but, although. So, so please, all, although my house is dirty, I guess this is the is, not, not exactly, but for, for conversational purposes. Um, although my house is dirty, please come in. Mm. One more time. This is something you will hear, though, not something you would say. Kitanai ie desu ga, dozo. And another example of that, uh, instead of dirty, is cluttered. And that's chirakatte masu. Chirakatte iru is the um, casual form, but chirakatte masu means, is a little bit more polite, the masu form. Chirakatte masu ga, although my house is cluttered, dozo. Please, ohairi kudasai, come in. So although my house is cluttered, although it's cluttered, please come in. Yogoshite imasu ga, yogo, yogoreru is to become dirty. Yogoshite is it is dirty. Yogoshite imasu ga, dozo. So although it is, uh, this literally means dirty, but uh, it can be translated as cluttered. Although it's cluttered, please come in. Another thing you will hear a lot from Japanese houses, because it is true, is that our houses here, and I, I say our because I, I live in a Japanese house, of course, they are very small. And you have expressions like chisai ie desu ga dozo. Although it is small, please come in. Okay. Chi -i. Now be careful, it's not chisai, it's chisai. Chisai. Chisai ie. Ie is house desu ga, although. Although it is this house is small. Although house small, dozo, please come in. Chisai ie desu ga, dozo, please come in. So these are the things that you might hear. And of course, I mentioned a few minutes ago that the entrance or the foyer of the house is called a genkan. Here it is in the lesson, actually. And hosts will often supply slippers for you. So a uh, couple things. Be sure your socks have no holes in them because nobody wants to see your stinky feet, okay? And uh, in cases where um, maybe you're, you don't, you're not wearing shoes, uh, you might bring a pair of socks, you know? I've actually, we've actually had students bring uh, their own pairs of socks that they, and even some with slippers, not so common, but, but some people will even bring their own slippers. Uh, well, this is, you know, a place of business, so, although as you can, as you can see, I'm not wearing, um, I'm not wearing my, uh, shoes, just my socks there, right? But um, those are special Japanese socks. Anyway, they will give you they will give you slippers often, and they'll say slipper, dozo, slipper o dozo. Slippers in Japanese is slipper. Wo indicates the action that the verb will take, uh, what the verb will act on. In this case, there's actually no verb. It's just saying here, take the slippers. Slipper o dozo. So please use these slippers, and you'll get these slippers. Well, this was taken a long time ago. We don't have those slippers anymore. It's customary to, to exchange your slippers. Oh, those are my old pairs of shoes. Look at that. <laughs> uh, anyway, this is, oh, look at that. There's, a, there's Maggie Sensei. She likes to hang out by the slippers. So this is, this is uh, I think this is enough for now. Uh, but these are some typical things you could say. Now, when you are visiting a house in Japan, it's customary to bring a gift. Uh, if you know what your get host likes, bring them something that they like. Uh, in the summertime, we'll have something called ochugen, which is a summer gift. And if you are visiting someone in the summer, you can take this opportunity to bring them a, a, an ochugen. But um, 
uh, often Ochugans are you go to the department store and you fill out a form and you and you pick something out of a catalog and you have it sent to them. So it's kind of a nice delivery. And there are often things like uh, there'll be cases, uh, collections of, oh, it's usually food, actually. It's almost always food. Uh, cases of beer, like a big box of, of nice beer cans. And it'll be like 70% uh, beer and 30% juices. Or some nice um, bottles of really expensive fruit juice for some reason. Or noodles or even cuts of meat. So this is what happens uh, uh, in the... Um, in the summertime here in Japan. Anyway, that's enough for now. Uh, of course, please read through this uh, because this, is, this lesson is going to drag out. Please read through the lesson. And there's a lot of other ex really useful things you can say, for example, how to compliment the house. And as you can see, there's actually a file here. So you have a nice house and you have a nice room. Stekina Ohea this net. And it and there's all the explanations here. So there's a lot there's a lot more to learn. Please check Maggie Sensei if you want to learn on learn how to uh, say the proper things when you visit a Japanese house. That's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you all in the next video.